Hey there, it's Tyler with AIWritingSchool.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Claude Artifacts feature. Now, this is a really powerful feature that Claude has rolled out to all users, and it's something that you can use to create graphics instantly. It's something you can use to create long-form content with multiple versions, and it's really something that you can use to even create games and apps. Now, in this video, I want to show you some of the easiest, most beginner-friendly ways to use it, especially if you're using it for writing or business purposes. That's what we'll focus on in this video. So let's start by asking it to create a timeline. So obviously you could use this in a slide deck or in a blog post. So we're going to say, please write or please create a trendy graphic showing the timeline of AI writing tools. Use the artifacts feature. Please create a trendy end of infographic showing the timeline of AI writing tools using the artifacts feature. Now, you you don't have to say use the artifacts feature, but if you want to guarantee that it uses the artifacts feature, um, you'll want to say that. Sometimes it will do it automatically, um, but if you want to make sure that it uses this feature, you can do that. All right, so here we have the timeline, 2010 to 2015, 2018. It talks about GPT, chat GPT, and even goes into present time. Now, something you can do, you can actually edit these artifacts. So we could ask it, please revise the graphic showing the timeline in horizontal fashion. Include mentions of Claude. Include mention of Claude. Okay. So we're going to edit the written content and we're going to edit the style of presentation for this graphic. And that's one of the things I love about Artifacts is that it will show you the version here, version two of two now. Um, so if you want to go back a version, you can go back a version. You can even reference versions to Claude itself. All right. So obviously it kind of messed up the um, text here, but it did accomplish what we asked it to do. And so all you would need to do is just go back in here and ask it to fix the issue here. So like you would just say, fix the text sizing issue. Um, but we're going to move on from this. And now we're going to jump into another example, one of my favorite ways to use uh, Claude artifacts. And that is creating multiple uh, artifacts and creating multiple versions of the artifacts. And so the use case we're going to use here is creating an ebook. Please, 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 please create a ebook ebook outline for the AI writing revolution ebook using the artifacts feature. And the reason we want to ask it to use the artifacts feature is because if we did not use the artifacts feature, it would just compile this in a ongoing chat. And I don't know if you've ever, you know, if you how long you've been using Claude, but if you use it frequently and use it a lot, it things can get lost. It looks like we have uh, unexpected capacity constraints. I'll copy paste. We're gonna go back actually. We're gonna try this again. And sometimes, you know, Claude it runs into usage issues, so this isn't uh, that uncommon. Uh, so we're gonna give it one more chance. All right, now it's going to create the outline using the artifacts feature, great. Now we are rolling. Uh, so we have this artifacts feature, the introduction, chapter one, chapter two, okay, this is great. All right, now we're going to say, please write chapter one as a new artifact, all right? So now we're asking it to write a new artifact. Here we go. So now it's going to write another artifact. What you'll love about this is now, as you can see, the chat, instead of having really long strings of text, we have a document for the ebook outline. And now we have a document for chapter one. Okay. And what's really cool is if we wanted to say, let's edit this. Um, oh, no, we have Claude issues, service disruption. That's not great. Let's go back here. Okay, so, and this actually uh, represents why this is such a powerful uh, tool, is now you can see we have um, under chat controls, you can go here and you can see each of the artifacts you've created. So now we have the outline, we have chapter one. All right, now we'll say please write chapter Now it's going to write chapter two. 
And what this is really helpful for, and I've actually started using Claude to write a book, and it's great because as you're writing a, you know, 10,000 word document or a book, you know, 50,000 to 90,000 words in a lot of cases, it can be really helpful to be able to jump into specific chapters and, you know, it's automatically writing the title of the chapter, the concept, the version. And if I want to edit that version, I can just jump right back into it and ask it to edit that artifact that's open. And so you can see how, how quickly this will really improve your productivity with Claude because it's no longer having to scroll through tons and tons of content, especially if you're working with long form content like this. And so now we have the chapter two. It's looking good. All right, so this is really one of the best ways I would recommend using the Claude Artifacts feature is writing an ebook, is writing content. You can also use it to write blog posts and I'll show you an example of that. Um, so please write a 1,000 word blog post on AI writing tools like Claude and ChatGPT. Use the artifacts feature. Okay. So it's going to write this blog post now using the artifacts feature. Man, Claude is really struggling. So again, I'm going to recommend that we just copy this. We're going to jump back out. Let's refresh. And let's give it another shot. See what happens here. Usually this will fix it, but not always. So let's see. Okay, it's still working on it. There we go. It's going to create as an artifact. There we go. It's giving us that. I'm going to go, going to go ahead and ask it, please revise this article to also mention Google Gemini. All right, we're gonna wait until it completely finishes writing this. We don't want to overload it. Okay, would you like me to explain or elaborate, or perhaps make a modification? Yes, please revise the article to also mention Google Gemini. So we're going to ask it to revise the article. It's really struggling. Now I'm using the pro version. I guess it's having a tough time tonight. So let's refresh. All right. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to revise the article to also mention Google Gemini. All right. So now it's going to revise it. Here we go. And this is exactly what I wanted to show you is now we have two versions of this article. We have version two of two. And so after this finishes, if we want to go back to version one, it is created within this document in this version here. So we have version two of two. We can go back to version one and compare that to version two, making it really, really easy to just keep track of the content that we're creating and the different iterations on that content. It's even notating how it's added Google Gemini, where it's added it. We can go back to version one now and we can compare like, okay, here's version one, here's version two. And as you can see, the introductory paragraph has changed and we can just see what has been changed. This just makes it so much easier to work with Claude. One final thing I want to show you is you can actually ask it within an artifact. You can uh, highlight something, you can, you can explain, or you can improve. So we can ask it to explain. Um, can, and it automatically prompts, can you explain this section to me in more detail? Um, another thing you can do is you can ask it to improve a section. Um, so hopefully this little tutorial on using the Cloud Artifacts feature has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or thoughts, please leave me a comment. And if you would like to download the AI writing cheat sheet we have put together, you can grab that in the description of this video. I'll put a link to it. It's an absolutely free AI writing cheat sheet that will just help you improve how you use tools like Claude and ChatGPT for your writing.